Hi guys! Today we're gonna model a hedgehog in Blender. And it's easier than it seems, actually. So first of all, as always, we put our reference image into Blender. So I go into Front View by pressing 1. And then I select my reference image. And I drag and drop it here in Blender. Okay, now let's just position it where we need it okay now I'm just gonna change quickly the color because otherwise you can't see my shortcuts but you don't need to do it okay like this is fine so we can start with this cube and we are going to assign a subdivision surface modifier with level 3. And we apply it immediately. Okay, now we have a cube that has become something like a sphere with many, many vertices. And this is going to be the body of our hedgehog. So I start by positioning it uh, here in the middle. I scale it by pressing S. And then I scale it on the X axis, like this. Okay, now we go into Edit Mode by pressing Tab on the keyboard and we want to see through our mesh so we press Alt Z or we can go here and we select the X-ray view. Now first of all we're gonna move these vertices to do the front part, uh, the face of our hedgehog but it's better to first enable proportional editing. Okay, now we move the vertices to match with the drawing here in the front part and we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's be sure that all the vertices match all uh, the body of our hedgehog. Okay, for now it looks pretty well. Uh, first of all, let's click with the right mouse button and select Shades Mode. And also we need another Subdivision Surface modifier. Uh, a level 1 is fine, I think, uh, for now. Okay, and let's start by uh, shaping better the face of our hedgehog because it's too wide on the y-axis so let's select a bunch of vertices uh, like these ones here and with proportional editing enabled let's scale it on the y-axis It looks good, but let's select these two faces here and scale them even more. And bring them up like this. Now we need to recreate this shape here. 
okay, it's looking better, but we are gonna also use the Sculpt tools to shape the face. So with the body selected, let's go here, Sculpt mode, and I think I'm gonna use Draw here. Also, I'm gonna enable the mirror on the Y axis. Okay. The cheeks were a bit hollow before and now we're gonna make them more rounded, like this. Okay, now we are ready to model the pose and then we're gonna add the last details of the body. Okay, now we can start modeling the pose. So, I'm gonna select uh, a few faces, probably these ones here. And I'm gonna scale it just a little bit and then move the vertices Uh, to make a more rounded shape. Okay, now I can select it and press E to extrude it and move it down like this. And also I want it to be flat, so I press S, Z, 0 to flatten it on the Z axis. We can extrude them again because we need to follow the shape of our pole and just go ahead until you have the shape that you want. I press Ctrl R and add an edge loop here. And then I move this vertex here on the bottom like this. Okay, it looks fine enough for a stylized pole. We're just gonna Scale it on the y-axis just a bit. Okay, let's do it again for this one. Okay, now we have our legs and let's be uh, honest, it's starting to look like a pig, but don't worry, <laughs> it's gonna look better. And first of all, we need to mirror the left part on the right part. So let's go and press 3 on the keyboard. Okay, now we're gonna see the side of our model. And in edit mode, Let's delete all these vertices. Okay, be sure that your origin is in the middle of your 3D model. And now you can add a mirror modifier. But you see that nothing is happening and this is because you have to choose the Y axis. And also move this modifier to first. 
Okay, now we have all our legs and we can start doing the eye, nose here and then we're gonna skip to the uh, funny part which is the quills, obviously. So the eye, as always, is a sphere, a simple sphere. Place it here. Actually, we are gonna scale it a little on the X axis, okay, until it's a bit narrow on the X axis, and then we can rotate it a bit. Okay, we want to mirror the eye too, so let's just select it. And first of all, let's select the body. And with Shift S, let's choose cursor to select it. Okay, now we have our cursor in the middle of the body. And we can select the eye and then go in Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. Now the origin is placed correctly in the middle of our body and we can add a mirror modifier to the eye, obviously changing to Y axis. This error is just because we have to apply our transforms. So let's click Ctrl A, apply all transforms. Okay, the last thing to do is add a nose. So, let's add another sphere. And scale it on the z-axis. Okay, now I'll show you how to quickly create the ear. So, let's go here in edit mode and the here is actually in this part so let's select these faces and first of all we're gonna press i to insert okay now we have to shape all these vertices to look more rounded like a uh, sort of circle like we did for the pose. So let's select these vertices. Okay, now we can select these four faces here and press E to extrude them. And now we can rotate them like this. And also we need to add an edge loop here in the middle, so Ctrl R and move these three vertices up a bit. Okay, now we need to rotate the here on the z-axis, so I select all these vertices. Okay, with all the vertices of the here selected, we can enable proportional editing and rotate on the z-axis a little. Okay, now we're gonna use the scalp tool and especially the smooth tool and also the grab tool because I want it to be less rounded. Okay, and at last we select the inner faces and we insert again. And probably it's better to choose 
uh, transform orientation normal and now we can move these faces to the inside of the here like this I'm probably also gonna extrude them with E and move them inside okay let's go and use the smooth again Okay, the ears are perfect and now we just need to create the quills. And for the quills we are going to use a particle system. It's very simple and now I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, now we can create our quill uh, that we're going to use as, a, as an instance for our particle system. So, shift A and I choose a cylinder but with only 16 vertices okay now we can scale it on the z-axis and select these top vertices and scale them to make it look more like a cone the reason why i didn't use actually a cone for this is because uh, like this it's more simple to add edge loops you see Control R and I add three edge loops. Okay, now let's select our hedgehog and first of all we can apply the mirror modifier because we don't need it anymore. Now we go here in Particle Properties and we press this plus button and choose Hair. We have created the particle system, but actually we're not going to use Hair. We can go here in Render and choose Render as Object because we're going to use this uh, quill. So here in Instance Object, I pick the quill and he have just positioned a lot of instances of all my body okay first of all we know that we don't want quills on all the edge bulk but only on the top of it so we're gonna use the weight paint for it so let's hide the particle system for now and with the body selected Let's go here and weight paint. Okay. Now we have this brush that you can scale with F. And you should have these uh, values. Okay. Weight to one, which means that we are going to add weight. And you can decide the strength that you want. Just enable the Y mirror and we can start painting our weights. We are painting the area where we want the quills to be. In case you need to uh, remove weight, you can just decrease this value to zero and you see that you can paint in blue. Okay, now we can return to object mode and unhide our particle system. And if we go here into vertex group, we can add a vertex group to density. What is a vertex group? For example, now that we added a weight to our object, here in the object data properties, you can see that we have created a new vertex group. 
Now, if I go back here into Vertex Group in the Particle System menu, in Density I can choose Quills. And now we have Quills only where we want them. Now, the next problem is that they are not going up, but they are stick to the body. So, first of all, let's take our particle and go into edit mode, select all the vertices and rotate them on the x-axis. Okay. You can even do it manually like this. Okay. Now our quills are finally pointing in the right direction. But first of all, we need more of them. So let's go here in children and choose simple. Okay, now we have many more quills and we can play with the scale. Let's go back in render. Increase the scale, but also increase the scale randomness. We also want to enable here advanced and enable rotation. Now we can rotate better our particles. Okay, now we have to fix this mess on the ears. Uh, it's very simple. Let's just go back to weight paint. Okay, and remove and remove. Uh, okay, we can deselect the particle system for now, and we can remove uh, the weight on all the ear. Remember to always have Y-axis mirror enabled. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Okay, we still have some ears, we still have some quills going through our ears, so let's just uh, go back to known children, okay, and then we can go here in particle edit. We have to remove a few strands here, so I use the cut tool and I cut this one and this one. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, finally. Okay, now we don't have any quills going through the ears anymore. Now, to make it more realistic, we can play also with the uh, clamp. We go here into clamping. Let's also increase this value to 13. Okay. Uh, so basically, we can display 13 children, but we are uh, gonna render. Uh, 100 of them. Here in the clamping we can increase the clamp just a bit. Okay, you can play with the clamping parameters uh, until you have the kind of look that you want. But I'm fine with this one. I'm just gonna fix maybe the hair here. We can use this tool to add new hair. Okay, like this we have more 
here on the side. To make it look more natural, I also uh, change some parameters here in the roughness. For example, the shape and the random. Here, I just play it with these parameters. Okay, the 3D model of our hedgehog is officially completed and we can skip to the funny part which is the texture of the body and the material of the quills. Okay, I just added a few lights so you can better see the way uh, the materials look like when rendered. And let's start with something really simple. Let's select the eyes and the nose and create a new material. totally black, we can copy material to select it and decrease the roughness because we want to have these kind of small reflections. Uh, in case you are wondering my render settings, this scene is rendered in Eevee and we have ambient occlusion and blue enabled and also screen space reflections with refraction enabled as always. Now we can create the material for the quills. So let's go back to our particle because we have to assign the material to the particle. Okay. And create a new material. It's better to go into the shading viewport here you can add nodes, always by pressing Shift A and searching what you need. I need a color ramp node and the texture coordinate node and a mapping node. Okay, first of all, let's see how our gradient is displayed on our quill. It's very messy, so... Let's use two random colors that we can actually uh, see. And I'm gonna rotate my gradient. Yes. Like this is probably fine and like this so you should have a gradient that goes uh, from here to here and the color that we're gonna use is something like this one and the dark brown. Okay. But uh, to make it more realistic, we have to do this kind of gradient with the dark brown part in the middle and the light part on the sides, on the top and the bottom. Let's also decrease the specularity. And now you can see that our hedgehog has a new color. Which looks pretty much like the real color of the hedgehogs. I'm gonna decrease the amount of children displayed so we can move more freely. Okay. 
Okay, now we can uh, start painting our body. So I just select my body and go here and hide the particle system for now. And I'm also gonna isolate it with the Shift H. Okay. Now in edit mode, in edge selection, I'm gonna choose some edges uh, to cut to create a new view mapping. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna select the base of the pose. And then I press Ctrl E, Mark Seam. Also the ears. Okay, now we can select everything with A and press U, unwrap. Now if you go in the UV editing um, menu, we can select all the parts that we cut and arrange them properly. I'm not actually gonna organize them uh, very much, I just want to make sure that they don't touch each other. Okay. Now we can create a texture and uh, attach it to the um, to the mesh so let's select the object and create a new material actually we already have a material for it so I'm just gonna use the one that I already have okay I add an image texture node And as always, a texture coordinate and a mapping. This time we're gonna use the UV that we created. But first we have to create a texture. For this we go in the texture paint panel. Okay. And here we select image, new. Here you can choose the size of your texture. Okay, for now it's all black and we need to save it. So image, save.
Now we can go back in the shading viewport and here we can finally choose the texture that we just created. Now, if you go in texture paint, you should have a black uh, body for now. Now, the tools are very simple. I'm just going to use the fill and choose a light color like this. Not too yellow. Now you can enable uh, your particle system and see if it's the shade that you really want. I'm fine with it. But I'm gonna paint my Herzog without the particle system because uh, it's too heavy. Okay, now I'm gonna use the brush tool. And I'm gonna use a graphic tablet to, uh, to paint. But it's actually a very simple texture, so if you don't have a graphic tablet, you can also try to use your mouse. I'm gonna choose a warm color and be sure to have your mirror enabled. You can change the size of your brush with F. And remember to always save your texture because if you don't save it and you close your program, you won't have your texture anymore. Now, with our texture, we can also fix a small problem of our particle system because I want uh, to paint a brown color all over here so that in case you see through the quills, you can't see the actual uh, color, but you see some kind of brown. Okay.
Okay, our character is completed and it looks really, really cute. And I'm just gonna let you see the lights that I use to illuminate it. Here we have an area light. Another area light here on the right to better illuminate the face. Uh, to illuminate the back of the character, I decided to use two point lights here, very close to the face. And also two point lights here in front of our character. And two suns, one to illuminate the background and one to illuminate the whole scene. And that's it. Let's see how it looks rendered. Here it is. I think it looks really adorable. And I think it's very simple to do it, actually. The body is very simple and with just a few parameters you can recreate this particle here very quickly. And yeah, as always, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment sections. And please remember to like and subscribe my videos because it helps me to keep going and create other contents for you. And we're gonna see each other again in the next tutorial. Bye!